Hey guys, Marty here. Um, it's day two of the Rags to Riches Wander series. Um, I've been trying to keep the sessions of play on this character pretty short, so it's not like, you know, in one day I am already completing our goals. You know, this is going to be kind of more reasonable. Um, but there's a couple things I want to note before I uh, start this. So in the last video, uh, it was requested that I keep track of the number of maps that I run. Um, I don't want to do that. Uh, the reason being that the game feels so much more like a job if you are like trying to keep track of every single little bit of like currency intake and maps you run and stuff. And I just kind of you know I enjoy just playing the game. Um, but yeah. Um, so then the other thing is uh, this was suggested on stream is that I put a note about the fact that I am constantly upgrading my gear as I go. I'm not stockpiling currency and then, um, you know, buying everything at once. I, you know, as soon as I can get uh, my Ashes Mirror, I instantly bought it. As soon as I can get my Gold Worms, you know, all this stuff, we're instantly buying these upgrades the second we can afford them. And the reason is, you know, you, you snowball your currency a lot harder that way. Um, so right now, you know, the currency stacks have not gone up too significantly. Um, today I got two Exalted Orb drops. Um, we, you know, reinvested them, obviously, but, so these are the gear upgrades we got today. So, first of all, we got our Bistros. Really big upgrade. Uh, it wasn't my first upgrade, though. We did get the Ashes Mirror, like I said in yesterday's video. Uh, I bought that this morning. Cost me 30C. Uh, they're actually going up, which is pretty nice, because I got a pretty sweet roll for 30C. Um, then I bought the Bistros. Uh, you know, this cost me about 187 Chaos. Um, they're kind of inconsistent on prices. They go fluctuate from about 150 to 250 Chaos, from what I've seen recently. Um, and then I got 20 Quantity Gold Worms, which actually came with, you know, perfect uh, 50 Fire as These cost me 45 Chaos. Um, I think they're worth it, because I'll never replace them. They'll be my boots until we end the series. Um, otherwise, no major upgrades. Uh, I flipped all my gems, uh, so we spent a you know a bit of time leveling those up today. Um, I have a bunch of stuff to sell. Uh, I've got this 21 purity of fire that I hit for 45 chaos. It probably would have sold by now if I hadn't gone to the airport to drop my mom off after my stream. Um, you know, we got some gems to sell or jewels to sell. We got a gold drum. Um, you know, just some random stuff that's gonna sell. Um, once it does sell, we should easily be over 100 chaos stacked, and then I've also got these chisels to sell. Um, I sold some regrets earlier. Uh, I've been using all my fusings. I'm, I want to say like 500 fusings into this chest so far, um, but we're kind of reaching the point where we're about to start snowballing the currency. There's no major upgrades at this point. Basically, I could get some Ventors, and I'll eventually swap my helmet out to uh, Devotos probably or maybe a uh, rat's nest, depending on what I'm feeling. I think they're both really good helmets. Um, I don't need the life from the Sarkanias anymore, and uh, <clears throat> it's just going to be really good to get more speed into the build at this point, as we're you know already getting there on the damage and survivability. Um, hopefully we'll six length the queen tomorrow. I'll probably be up to like nine or six, nine or 900 or 1,000 fusings used on it tomorrow because now we're actually kind of doing the maps fast now that the gems have flipped and stuff like that um, we're actually clearing quite quickly uh, this is the map tab right now as you can see it hasn't gone up that significantly but I've been selling a lot of my maps uh, you know we're up to a hundred alchemy orbs that's because I'm selling these maps um, div cards I'm not really even paying much attention to them I'm also putting my essences here uh, I probably have some money into these div cards I stopped looting gamblers even though uh, I would make a good amount of money off of them. I generally tend to make like I'd say probably one or two C per set of gamblers, and I like the looting them. They're kind of fun when you pull like a last one standing or something out. But um, <clears throat> I stopped looting them uh, because I'm not using a dip tab for this. I'm honestly just like I hate dumping into quad tabs. Like people have asked me a lot about what I think about dump tabs. I think dump tabs are good if that's how you like to play. If you like to log off and then spend some time sorting your tabs, you know. But I don't. When I log off the game, I just want to relax. I want to hop in bed. You know, I want to watch a show for a little bit and then sleep. Maybe do a few trades. But I don't want to be sitting here, you know, t okay, what's this? You know, Gem Cutter's Prism. Let's take a gambler out. You know, that would be times a hundred because I have to do all these other things that I'd be dumping um, you know after I end my session 
I just want to, you know, I find it, it doesn't take that long to just quickly sort everything as I'm going. And then um, on top of that, like, it does become harder to keep track of things as you're going. Like, if I just had these 33 chaos, like, you know, mixed randomly throughout this tab, right, then it, it, it's not immediately visible how much chaos I have. And I'm not just talking about just chaos, obviously, you know, if we were dump tabbing, it would be like a bunch of random crap in there. Um you know, maps and div cards and six sockets and stuff like that. And I mean, it is faster. You do do your maps faster, you know. So for the people that do enjoy doing that, you know, it's a certainly a good strategy, but it's not for me. Um, anyone who watches me on my normal characters, this is kind of how I do my mapping. Like, I, I get out of the map, um, you know, I, I instantly deposit all my currency, then I deposit any fragments I have, then I deposit any essences, any belts I picked up, any div cards, and then any gems, any maps, and then we're back in. You know, it takes maybe 10 seconds, and at most, like 10 seconds if I'm being inefficient about it, reading chat while I do it. And then, you know, we're already waiting on the map, because when I, the first thing I do when I access the map is immediately put in another map. Um, and then while the map is activating, that's when I do the stash stuff. Normally I actually move my stash closer to the, map device and I set up a little thing for that but I actually changed my hideout because some guy got mad at me uh, two days ago I don't remember he got mad at me because he tried paying something other than what I asked for like I had something listed for like five chisels or something and he tried to just pay one chaos one chisel and I just declined trade and went back into my map and he like starts calling me a faggot and just stands around my hideout desecrating and uh, using offerings to try and troll me so I just made a new hideout and I haven't bothered setting my uh, stash or anything up. Um, but I'll probably do that maybe tomorrow on stream or something. Basically what you can do is you can make it so that when you exit the map, Navali, Zana, and your stash are all immediately clickable without moving at all. Um, and so you'll always spawn back in the spot where you're right next to all three of them. So you can vendor, you can stash, and you can do all that without moving. It's really convenient honestly and it just makes it feel a lot more fun when you actually when you don't have to run back and forth constantly but it's annoying because when you trade with people they never know where your stash is you're standing right next to it it's right next to the map device you know right next to the waypoint but they're they're gonna you're gonna see people like run around your hideout they're gonna be looking they're gonna be like oh is it over here oh no it's not over there okay uh, then they type like oh where's stash can't type while the India is active but anyways you know that's that's what they do um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I kind of just mumbled it on a bit at the end there. Um, I will be back on stream tomorrow. I'll put the link to my stream in the chat below, uh, or in the description below. Um, I'll put my Discord link down there. Come chat with me in Discord. And uh, thank you all so much for the support. It's been amazing. You guys really seem excited about this series. I'm excited about this series. I'm loving it so far. I think we've had some great progress on the character, and I think once we get the search link done, it's going to be really, really hype. So uh, I think, hope you all have a good night, and thank you for watching.